Good morning. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join us. Um, really excited to share uh, kind of some of the stuff that God's laid on my heart um, through His Word. Um, and I'm really excited that you guys um, are making the commitment uh, to just watch this, um, to jump into some scripture with us. Because um, we, do, we do believe that it's, it's a very important part of who we are as Christians. Um, it's where we find our resource. It's where um, we find our direction. And so um, this morning we're going to be reading out of Proverbs 30. Um, and anytime I... It's weird. And it's kind of kind of messed up of me, but... For the longest time, anytime I would go to God's Word, it was only because I needed an answer. Or it was only because uh, I just was really unsure of some stuff. Um, not that that's a bad thing, um, but it just, the more and more that I jump into it, and the more and more God hits me in the face with it, uh, I kind of realize that it's backwards and that this is actually the place I should go first for everything. Um, and so, it was kind of interesting uh, where I landed this morning in Proverbs 30, um, because it's about truth, and it's about God's truth. Uh, so if you have your Bible, we're going to be reading Proverbs 30, and this is in verse 5. Um, it's just a little bit, and this is what I wanted to share with you. It says this. It says, every word of God proves true. That's it. And... When I read that, um, just it was another example of how God has continued to, to beat this into me. Um, and when I say this, I mean uh, His Word, the, and the more of the importance of His Word for me. Um, and it's just kind of been this reoccurring theme as um, I've, I've journeyed through my life and have um, begun this process of, of leading other people. Um, and it's, and I've discovered that it's, that's very accurate. This statement that every word of God proves true is very accurate for me personally. Um, and it's come through a lot of different things. It's come through God showing me, um, his promises. It's, it's come through him revealing, um, truth and direction for me out of his word. Um, and I want to share with you, um, another piece of scripture uh, it's from Isaiah 55 and it starts in verse 10 and I just want to read this to you it says this the rain and snow came down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth they cause the grain to grow producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry it is the same with my word I send it out and it always produces fruit it will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere that I send it. And so what I wanted to share with you this morning um, is just this. It's that um, in our lives we are, are searching for direction. We're searching for answers. We're searching for the next step, the next move. Um, what is this? Well, should I make a decision on this? Is it yes or no? Um, and a lot of times we look to the world for answers. Um, and most of the time, I can say pretty much every time that I've taken the advice of the world, it's always come back to bite me in the butt or it's always come back um, and it's not been right for me. Um, but something really interesting here um, is that in Isaiah, when he's, he's saying that anytime that God's word is sent out, um, it always accomplishes the mission that it is intended. Um, and the mission being God's will, God's intention, God's desire, His plan. Um, and I just think that's really cool because how often do we see things go out? How often do we see things start or make an attempt at something and it fail 
Um, and to know, to hear this in Proverbs, that every word of God proves true, and then to read this, um, that anytime His word is open, anytime it goes out, it will never fail. Uh, this idea just blows my mind, and it's something that I find a lot of rest and a, a lot of peace in. Uh, and I know a lot of times for us, we we try to we try to read God's word and we try to force it into an area of our lives. We try to make it fit into this certain portion of us, um, and that's just not. It's kind of counter. Productive, really, because when we do that, we completely take away the intention that it has. And I'm not saying that, that everything that we read, every time you read it, or for everyone, it's going to be the same thing. Um, but what I am saying is that God has intention when you read His Word. And when you read it, and you allow it to, to sink into your soul, you allow it... Um, to cover your life, it's gonna always produce exactly what God intends it to produce. Um, whether it's uncover things about us um, that need to change, whether it's give us direction for the next step in our lives, um, or um, or it's to speak to our souls for peace, um, for comfort. And I think, for for me, I just want to see us. Um, I just want to see us always walk in, in 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 the truth of it. I always want to see us always go to this first for this to be the first step. And I just want to say, like, thank you for going ahead and doing this with us in the morning. I don't know what it may be morning for you, maybe in the afternoon, but the fact that you took the time to get on here and watch this seven eight minute video. Um, when you could do a million other things, um, is to me very encouraging because it means um, that you really do take this seriously. And um, my prayer, my uh, my hope for you is that you will continue to jump in with us every morning. And I hope some of the things that I've said have made sense. Um, but if they haven't, you can just go back here and <laughs> it will all make sense. Um, because sometimes I don't, which is okay. But um, thank you guys for uh, stopping in with us, and uh, I'll see you soon.